In this video, I'm going to show you how you can play Nintendo 64 games on your 3DS. Now this is a pretty straightforward guide and what we'll be using is the Daedalus X64 emulator. So let's get it set up. Linked below is this GitHub page for Daedalus X64 created by Master Fees. And if we scroll down to where it has the assets, just click on 3DS. And then we're also going to grab this CIA file so we can get to the emulator straight from our 3DS menu. So download that as well. And that's it for the downloads, but before we move on, we're going to take a look at this troubleshooting spot. Uh, if the emulator freezes every time you try to launch a game, make sure you're using a recent version of Luma and have dumped your DSP firmware. So pretty much just make sure that you have updated CFW on your 3DS, which CFW stands for custom firmware, and Luma is the latest version. If you don't have custom firmware on your 3DS, there'll be a modding playlist below where you can get started there. So once you have those, let's open up the SD card we use to mod our 3DS. Here's what mine looks like. We'll just snap these together. And first off, we're gonna open up the zip file called 3DS, and it should just have this 3DS folder. Grab it and drag it onto the root of your SD card it should merge with your existing 3DS file, folder, sorry. And then once it's in there, if we go into the 3DS folder, you should see Daedalus X64 right here with these folders and files. Now that that's done, we can close the zip file and we're gonna grab the CIA folder and drag it into your CIAS folder on your SD card. If you don't have a CIAS folder, just create one, all lowercase, spelled C-I-A-S. Drag it in there. Open it up and you should see Daedalus x64.cia. Make sure it's a CIA file, but if you downloaded it from the web page I shared, it should be. And that's it for the emulator setup. Now it's time to get our games. So I'm going to close my browser and as you can see I have a few Nintendo 64 games right here. So on my SD card I'm going to go into 3DS, Daedalus x64, and then I'm going to right click, create a new folder, and just call it ROMs. Once you have that folder created, grab your Nintendo 64 ROMs and drag them in. And if we go in there, you can see that these are all Z64, but I believe N64 files also work. So in summary, for the SD card in your 3DS folder, you should have a Daedalus X64 with your ROMs in the ROMs folder. And then to get it onto the 3DS menu, you should have the CIA in your CIAS folder. Once you have all that ready to go, we can head over onto the 3DS and get it set up. I'll meet you there. And once you're on your 3DS, we're going to open up our FBI software. If you don't have this software, we installed it during my 3DS homebrew video. So open it up. And then on the bottom screen, just click A on SD. Scroll down to CIAS. Press A. And then you should see Daedalus X64. So press A on it. And we're going to install and delete the CIA. This will delete it off your SD card after it is already installed on your 3DS. So let's go ahead and do that. A for yes. And it should be pretty quick. Install finish. Press A to continue. And just press the home button. And we should have a present. New software has been added. Press OK. And here we go. Daedalus X64 port for 3DS. Let's open it up and try out a few games. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. <laughs> I love how I don't have to hide my face. And there we go. Your ROM should show up right here. So as you can see, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Kart 64, and Yoshi's Story. And, oops, they even have some cover art there. That's, that's really nice. You don't have to load it up or do anything extra. You just get it. So you can go into the configure settings here and change certain settings if you would like. If you go into the video setting and scroll down, you can see that it is already set to widescreen. So if you don't want widescreen, you can change it to 4.3. But I like widescreen, so I'm going to leave it. Cancel. And then you can also go into input and change the default to smash controls. If you're familiar with those, I'm actually not. So I'm going to leave it on default. And then miscellaneous. Display FPS, you can hide it or, or not. Let's enable it and see how good the FPS are. And then just click on a ROM, press launch, and it should begin the game. And here on the bottom screen, obviously it has save state and load state. So if you save your game, you just load it after you load the ROM. And there we go. Let's just hop into a match quick. Oh boy. <laughs> boing, boing. 
Dang, already in first. I'm better on this than I am CTGP. <laughs> Just kidding. I ruined it. <laughs> Ooh, got the shock in fifth. It runs really well for being a Nintendo 64 game on the 3DS. How do I use the shock? Guys, help. I don't know how to use my item. <laughs> oh, there we go. Found out. There's that button. <laughs> But anyways, that is how you play Nintendo 64 games on your 3DS. It's very easy, and if you ran into any issues, just comment below, and I will try to help you out. Uh, you can also join my Discord server and get help there. And of course, I can't tell you where to get the ROM, but if you want to know, you can join the Discord and ask there. If you'd like to support the channel, there, there is a link down below to buy me a coffee. Of course, that is not expected, and all that I ask from you is that you hit the like button. That is very appreciated. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your Nintendo 64 games on your 3DS. Bye!